Car service. Bang! Hey, oh, we're in the cash cab. Same with you. With you step up, up. No old dirty bastard now. There is a day of the year that old dirty bastard was born. Can you tell me that day? November 15th. That's right. Yeah. Correct. The Rock the Bells concert is known to have a hologram of the rapper Old Dirty Bastard at the event. There was also another rapper in hologram. Who was that? Don't forget, you have a mole shot on your old friend. Hello? Hi, Mama Cherry. Okay, baby. At what age did you realize that Dirty was going to be a star? I don't know. <laughs> you know, but, um, you know, but he's a little bit of family. I have, um, six children, so they're the ones that between my seven, and, um, they stay together. That's what they did. This ain't obviously music. The estate's attorneys have, uh, filed a cease and desist, and we're not allowed to play the screening today. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this to you first. Yeah. You know, you gotta, you gotta do it because you gotta protect yourself legally, but a film, it's something that can be portrayed in homes, in public places, in libraries, and, and in places like Brooklyn Academy of Music, which is a place where art is, 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 is given to the people. I remember being a kid, coming, uh, going to school, uh, PS384, over in Bushwick, and we would get field trips to Brooklyn Academy of Music, and they would show us films, they'd show us music, and then we'd go to the Botanical Garden. That's all part of culture. I can't see how a lawyer <coughs> he might stop culture being spread. Yo, fuck that, Chris. We ain't listening to them like that. We ain't gonna let them stop this shit. Yo, yo, throw that, that raw shit on, y'all. Fuck that. Put the lights down. Yo, Chris, I got this. Yo, don't put the raw shit on. Fuck that, man. Put that down. Oh, you wanna hurt me? You wanna hurt me, man? I'm not in the Netherlands. I'm here before. I came here. I did the show that night. And that motherfucker, he's the only one that never came, man. Mm -hmm. He's the only one that never came, man. That's my first cousin. You know what I mean, he taught me just let it go, let everything go. You know what I mean? Sometimes to have no boundaries is to learn new boundaries, to learn new limits, you know what I mean? So he definitely taught me a lot. We had many of fun experiences. I remember one time uh, we went to Coney Island. He wilding out. We was on this big boat that rocked back and forth. And mm -hmm. He was wilding out and maybe he could knock my grills out my mouth. <laughs> he knocked my gold caps out my mouth. He had bought me some some fangs and some shit back there. RZA was on that. I that love fang those. shit. You know what I mean? And, um, he, he bought me another pair like another week or two because I kept complaining and whining and complaining. And so I'm like, yo, where my... Da, da, da. He, so he always looked out for us. You know, it's sad that, you know, he's gone, but it's great that he left a good legacy for his family. He wasn't about all of the money. The money came with that, you know what I'm saying? But he kept it regular. He always fucking came back to his hood and sold love and made himself over and over again. Mm -hmm. And nobody could ever do that, you know what I'm saying? I was with this nigga when he used to hop the turnstiles to go to fucking <laughs> Staten Island. I was with this nigga when he used to go to Dizzle on fucking Monroe. My name is Sassy Sassy. My brother, man, me and him go way back, man. Dirty to stand on Coney Island Avenue. You know what I mean? We had a lot of conversation, a lot of talk. Like I said, a lot of sun, moon, and stars, you know. We here celebrating the legacy of Dirty you know, and keeping his name going. That's, that's what's important, you know. <laughs> no TV, and I'm representing it to the fullest. Me and my man here. Bad choice, King Rock, no TV. We here celebrating the first one day of. ODB, old dirty bass. Rest in peace, ODB. 20th anniversary of the Wu Tang Clan. Happens yeah. to be two weeks from now. Yeah, yeah. We out here, I'm hopping with the celebs, the rich ones in the world. <laughs> we all out here. You know what we do? No TV, always in the building, representing everywhere you should be, but can't be. We bringing it to you live in your living room. We bringing it to you live in your kitchen. Maybe you watch it. In your den. In your den. In your TV room. In the detention room. Yep, we everywhere. By the window. <laughs> by that ladder by the window. Just living my lessons and learning my life. <laughs> you know what I mean? You heard that one? Who does it better? Slave prostitution with the crazy knitted sweater. You already know. What's better? <laughs> we'll take forever. No TV, yo. This is Big Capital and I'm chilling right now. 
You know what I'm saying? And we doing what we supposed okay. to know. TV, hip hop, all day, every day, man. We on the loose. No TV. Let's go. Before you do shit. anything, man, let me make a goddamn announcement, man. Oh, oh shit. fuck that shit, man. Fucking record companies be new dudes and niggas as fucking puppets, man. I ain't no motherfucking puppet, man. I'm the old dirty bastard, man. <laughs> yeah. Niggas is so used to getting used as a motherfucking puppet. It's like you niggas be ready to get puppet or pupperized. Yo, yo, six. Fuck that shit, 60. man. Shit got to change, man. Let niggas just do what the fuck they want to do, man. Only one that understand this music is niggas. Yo. It's real like that, right? What? Huh? Let a nigga be free. Let a nigga be free. That's why old dirty bastard is the baddest motherfucker. Cause a nigga got to be free.